Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and I may regret this. This week's guests are tall, funny, and not my dad's. Please welcome Rhett and Link. Help! 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 I can't swim! Oh no, someone help swim. this man. He is drowning help. on land. I can't swim! Who will save him? Help! Help! Oh! Oh! Who is it? Oh! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, God. Come on. Come to safety. Come on. Come to safety. Come to safety. Come to safety. Come to safety. Oh, my God. Get the seawater up. Oh, my God. Get, get all that seawater up. Yeah, there you go. Load up. Here we go. Get that seawater up. Oh! <laughs> All right, there's more in there. Oh I can God. tell. I can tell there's more in there. <laughs> All right, you okay? Oh. You okay? All right. Thank goodness. I got you. Oh. I had you the whole time. Oh, thank I goodness. You. I had you the whole time. Thank goodness. Thank you. If you're wondering why, why the title in some implies this is the last LTAT. Oh. oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I mean, come Whoa. on. That was a close one. I guess you just, you had to go big for this. I'll accept Go big it. or go home, um, or both. Yeah, well, uh, so yeah, so if, you, if, you, if, you've, if you've clicked on this video, you've seen the title thumb. Um, it's not clickbait. I will explain why uh, this is the last LTAT. The reason might shock you. It uh, won't shock you, but that's what those articles mm. say sometimes. Yeah, I you like know? It. Where do we put this? I'll just put this over here. It's, just, it's a prop. Mm. Today! We are going to be taking a look at the top five LTAT moments of all time as voted on by you. Um, Kiki from You're So Loud also sent an awesome uh, season 16 funniest moments compilation that you haven't seen that, right? that you're going to react to. It's ah, true. Yeah. And of course, I'm going to get to why this is the last LTAT. Please be patient because first you want to see us eat something. That's what we do on this show. Right, right. Um, so I'm hungry. Please bring in the pizza. Oh. Oh, I tomato figured, pie. Thank you. Yeah, I figured oh, it's, no. um, oh, don't worry about don't it. Worry. It's don't. fine. They have to eat in their own wetness. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I figured it's a cele it's a, it's a last place. episode situation to, so to eat good. pizza. And this also, so good. I wanted the pizza that I wanted. Because yes, I deserve you did. it. Um, so, tomato pie. This uh, this week we had um, we turned a car into a pizza. I'm sorry that the words just didn't come to me. It's just not something you say often. Right, right. Um, so I figured this is the pizza tie-in. So I got. Now we're gonna turn a pizza into a car. This is a Joe P. Are you familiar with the Joe P? Yep. It's I, a grandma base with some sausage. You know the grandma base. Yep. Oh, we do need plates though, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or like, well, I think I have I have paper towels. That'll, that'll paper be towels fine. is good enough. Um. Is it both Joe P? No. What's on the bottom? The bottom one is my favorite pizza, which is bacon and jalapeno. Oh, bacon jalapeno. Yeah. But you know they which have. Which one do you guys? Hold on, but they have want. a pizza there that's named after the city that you went to college in. I do like the Syracuse. And that is but, the best one. But it's just it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too okay. intense for okay. me. Okay. All right. Okay. So would you guys like a slice of the um, Joe P or the um, Oh no, are they both Joe P's? Uh, yeah, I kind of messed up, Stevie, sorry. Well, David, it is you the final what, LTAT. You can get it right next week. <laughs> it's fine. I saw both of them said 22 on them. This is a good them. bit. This is a great bit that yeah. we're doing right you know now. What? It's fine. You know, you know I'm glad we pizza? ordered these Joe both. Pete. And... Joe, Joe P is my favorite. I want favorite nothing else yeah, than Joe P. I was also thinking that someone's alarm's going off right now, too. Oh, wow. It's great. Let's grab some pizza. Um, because David also uh, oh, good. found a very reputable article that we're about to talk about that involves said pizza. <coughs> oh, they really got that together, didn't they? I think it's it might have been oh, sitting a for a while, too. Oh, what, oh, that was, that no, was, that's that my was point. the tip of my that's piece. That's my point. I want this, specifically this piece. Oh, yeah. Now, you don't want us to eat this yet? No, I want you can eat it. We're going to talk about... So, there's an article that says there's 10 different ways to eat pizza. Oh. And then each one of those ways says something about you. Okay. Um, so what? And so, so I like figured, Rex. like, you guys can kind of guess, and we can, like, 
play a little game, but really just an excuse to eat pizza. Well, this says that you My do it the best way. Pizza. So Rhett, Rhett has folded his in half, but okay. then the end is still flopping out. I don't Okay, know. that is a specific thing. That's not a fold in half. That's called the pinch hold. You're doing a pinch hold. And so um, can we guess what that means? Yeah, please. That means I mean, you're that, the coolest. That means you think you're the coolest. You think you know everything, but really you're just half way eating a piece of pizza. You're not doing a, you're not doing anything all the way. Close. No. You know how to mediate an argument or at least stay neutral. You are practical and know how to get things done in the most like effective way halfway. possible. Rhett Switzerland McLaughlin. By the That's way, what they this call is me. A, a Yahoo article, which yeah, yeah. And it was written by an intern, is what it says on there. So Seriously? Uh, yeah. So just an intern wrote this. An Yahoo intern interns wrote this. are the best intern. Now ever. I eat mine. I I like to leave mine just 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 regular it out. plain Jane. This means you are a no BS individual whose convictions cannot be swayed by the latest trends. The only thing that matters to you is getting that pizza into your mouth. Um, but you're about to you? say the fold fold in half, which sometimes, like with this particular kind, yeah, like, you kind of do have to fold in half. We'll see how quickly you can eat it when you fold in half. Um, <laughs> you always have somewhere to be, so you need to be able to do things on the go. Even if you're in one place, you need to be able to keep one hand free to do something else while you eat. Is hmm. the fold in half? Okay. Maybe I should take a bite of this pizza. Yeah. What, what's your What's your um? Approach with this, I just said I do have to fold it in half because it's so it's kind of like a Flop. flappy, floppier like New oh, York style. You're a pincher as well. Oh, this is a pinch. you're pinching. Yeah, I'm pinching. Um, this is such what, a good pizza. First of all, now here's have you had way. the Joe P before? Here's another way to eat it. Yeah, but I'm saying this place is so. Oh good. yeah. I don't know how we're gonna get Tim, but crust first has to be one of them. Mm -hmm. Crust first. Why would anybody want to do this? Something wrong with him. You like going against the grain. You're rebellious. You break the rules, and you don't really care what people think. I agree with the intern. But you break rules that don't need to be broken. There's a certain kind of person that breaks rules. I don't, I, I legit it's, it's, it's don't understand. Yeah. And like, I don't con understand Conventions that need to be challenged, but eating pizza backwards, that but, ain't good for anybody. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. It's someone who's trying to make a point and making their lives and everyone around them It's a contrary. Miserable. Oh, I just Whoa. spit, Here's Sorry. another thing I don't like. Contrary, I need another pizza pizza. Um. It's a good thing we got two. What's another way to eat it? Eating on off is, the okay, side? No, is there <laughs> eating on the side? You like know this? this you know this type of person. A terror offer. No. Fork you. A forker. A, a fork you. A fork you. Yeah, okay, so fork and knife. You're a tra you're traditional, refined, and a bit on the classy side. You're posh. You don't like jumping into things and getting your hands dirty, literally. So you take calculated steps. To completing a goal. Yeah, but we haven't no, even gotten five. The people that I dislike are the um, leave leave the crusters. Mm -hmm. Leave the crusters. I don't understand the leave the crusters that, either. That's simple to understand, Steve. Why? Because if there's more pizza, why are you gonna sit there and eat the crust when you can just have another piece? Because, because it's a good part I, of the experience. I feel like leave the crusters are, especially if you're sharing a pizza with them, yeah. are kind of being a holes because they're actually getting more of the good part of the pizza and I'm making a sacrifice by eating the crust? No, mm -hmm. the crust is its own experience. What you do it is isn't you I don't like bite, it. you have, you, one, you get ranch with tomato pie. I get ranch and I dip the crust in the ranch. Well, this is a good pizza. Also, yeah. you can do the same thing with Parmesan. Also, I think half the pizza is in my mouth already. Um, but it says the lead the crusters are extremely organized and can keep work and play separate. If we were to look in your calendar, all of the appointments would be probably would probably be color coded with planned out events running well into 2016. This is an old article. I don't know about that. Because you're super. Leave the crusters are traveling reverse in time. That's the only one that you've questioned so far. <laughs> Everything else sounds pretty legit. Um, you said pretty good something close to this, remove the toppings and eat them separately. I have seen people do this. It is disturbing. Those people, that's it. You do that, I'm up. I'm gone. I'm, I'm out the restaurant. That's the type of people who like, or like really gory horror movies. <laughs> that's good. None of these are like judgy on people, which I guess is okay, but also, I mean, it leaves room for us to judge Well, the them. interns were scared to be judgy because <laughs> yeah. they knew some of their bosses might have these particular tendencies and they didn't want to get them upset with them. You like to savor the good things in life. You're easygoing, are in no rush, and like to take things slow. You live in the moment are will and are willing to put in a little work for your happiness. That's About the removing who... the toppings? No. Yeah. Wrong, intern. Yeah, it um, sounds like they must be a topping remover. Inside outfold oh. instead of the 
which I I have not seen, How but on, it's I, a that's just for stupid people. <laughs> you are unconventional, you quirky, and adventurous. People might not get you at first, but once they get to know you, they find out you're pretty stellar. They make you a, here's the a crust here's the play for crust that first person seem legit now. No, but here's the thing: is that if you do an inside out fold, you do get the toppings on your tongue first. So there is something to it. I just don't understand how you do it without like having Losing grease everywhere. And yeah, look at me making a sacrifice for y'all right now. Is eating this crust like, like somebody who's just got bread. Well, this is the way that I would think that you would eat pizza, Rhett, the stacking way, which is just taking two pieces of pizza and stacking them on top of each other to <laughs> well, consume as much as I'm possible. I'm gonna have to do that for about third and fourth pieces. <laughs> like topping on topping. Yeah. Or topping on crust. Oh, it doesn't. Do they specify. stack it or stand? I feel it. like. I feel like either way, I was thinking I think thinking you make sandwich. it like a stromboli. Yeah. If you want to get to 10, you probably have to do both. You can handle more than the average human and are ready to take on a challenge. You're the type of person who puts chips in a sandwich or fries in a milkshake just to be daring. Or you're just really, really hungry. That. And then there's one more way that I'm just unsure if this intern was meaning for this to sound this way um, or not. But it's called the pizza facial. Oh, gosh. <laughs> can you guess what it is? While you're explaining that. It's somebody who puts pizza all over their face. <laughs> I gotta do the double stack just to figure out what it feels like. Um, it is not someone that puts pizza on their face, Rhett. Um, that's a good pizza. I have done this. I myself have gotten a pizza facial. Um, it's when you sneeze into a pizza <laughs> or somebody else does. Now, should I do a fold over of the double stack? It appears as if the integrity of the pizza has been compromised yeah, since gonna, it's been sitting in the kitchen probably for that, a long like time. That. Um, break that joint and then come, oh, look at that, holy moly. Break that joint? Break that joint. <laughs> I like to think of the pizza as an animal. Like it has bones. Um, I'm gonna break the joint. It's when you take a napkin and you dab the grease off. Ah. Sometimes mm. a pizza, I don't do it with tomato pie, but sometimes a pizza gets real Link greasy. And let me tell you what it says about us. He's a facial man. You are health conscious and prioritize cleanliness. True, about the cleanliness. Uh -huh, yeah. You don't like messy surprises, so you fix problems as soon as you see them. As an avid calorie counter, <laughs> you're the type of person who stays true to one's diet, except for when it comes to pizza. Yeah. If you are counting calories, I'm, might I recommend not eating pizza? I'm counting them, and their and the count is going up very fast in this segment. Um, yes, if <laughs> we've almost finished an entire large. Uh, uh, Joe, Joe P. I could win a pizza eating contest. Why don't y'all enter me into that kind of stuff more? Why don't you enter yourself into something? Why do you gotta be the one to do your leg work? You know, right? I'd like to enter you into a contest. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all the paperwork. You just show up and you eat the pizza. Okay. Wait. Um. I really hope that you've learned something. Maybe I'll do that for you. Well, yeah. uh, Rhett into a contest. is I'll finishing all of the pizza. Why don't we watch a compilation from You're So Loud that highlights the funniest moments of season 16? Yeah, awesome. One whole side of your glasses is Orbeez. <laughs> oh, my ear, my ear, my ear fell. Cut the music! Cut the music! Cut the music! <laughs> Turn off the device! I can't, I got an Orbeez in my left ear. I, I can't get it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put your hand down there and see if you can catch it. No, don't hit it. Catch it. Here, let me use these scissors. <laughs> I got an Orbeez stuck in my ear, guys. I bet you, my left nut, there will be a horse named Pepper. And now what do you do with all this chalk? You snort it? I, I can see how you could get into this. I'm a little turned on. Am There's... I supposed to be turned on? No. Yes. No. I'm not turned on. You're I supposed just... to be turned on, but never admit to it. Okay, all right. Now. Doesn't he have two penises? Or is that a shark? I'm not contributing to this anymore. A snake has a penis, sure. man. I don't want to find that. This is the one chance we've got to find a snake penis, man. Craig, where's your penis at, man? Why are you doing this? Yeah, we're gonna, look at that. There's a pube. Horrible, <laughs> man. You know you're close to the penis when you find a pube. Stop. <laughs> I gotta tie you up. <laughs> um, all I've right. got to tie Rhett up. I've got to tie. Okay, thank I you so tie much for specifying. First of all, I gotta say, I would like one of these in my den. <laughs> this is... Same size? <laughs> now, don't suck too hard. I'm serious. 
Okay. Hey, right. hey, I'm serious now. I got it. There's an Orby stuck in there. I'm gonna get it, man. Now, I'm gonna hold I'm it. I'm like a doctor. I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but I do not see an Orby. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I swear to you, there's an Orby in there. All right, place this Orby. <laughs> place this straw. Switch seats, because I want to switch seats. Place this straw on the Orby. <laughs> and when you get it nice and secured, I'll suck on it. But <laughs> gently. <laughs> I'm not going to suck your ear out. There's nothing to be worried about. You have a straw stuck in your ear and your best friend's about to suck on it. All right, now if you suck too hard, you might choke. It'd be really bad if like, either I'm gonna go down I'm or you're gonna choke one, I'm not in any danger, man. I'm not the one who should be worried. I'm worried about me too. <laughs> I really like this, Link. It doesn't have a punch, man. I agree with you. There, where's the punch of kombucha? Sometimes I want to be caressed. I want to get punched in the face by my kombucha. Can I have If both? I want to be caressed, I'll drink a nice Listen, a I want to thing. go into the fight. I want to be ripped apart, and then I want to be cradled like a big baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 What in the world is the crap is that? <laughs> oh, what the no, crap? No, Why is it so aggressive? Don't take it out. It's not aggressive. It's literally not doing anything. <laughs> oh my. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even looking. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at his head. <laughs> Stop! Stop screaming. <laughs> now don't push on the straw. Suck gently now. Ooh. Oh, you, why did you blow? I didn't blow. Did you blow? I, no, I sucked, man. You're crazy. It felt like you blew. I sucked. I'm so, I'm now only sucking. <laughs> the rest of the sound is stupid. For the first time today. The um, more you eat, the not as bad as you thought it was gonna be, it doesn't get. <laughs> Get it, get it onto the orbit. Don't, don't, don't talk into the straw! I'm not! <laughs> You're yelling into the damn straw! <laughs> if you're gonna talk, talk that way and use a whisper. Okay, yeah. I'm just, just trying to help you, man. Let your doctor help. Well, I'm a little frazzled. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the noise it made? It whistled. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, 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 don't. <laughs> See me. What? Do you hear that noise? Yeah, it's the. You're, are you, did you ooh in that? Okay. Let me. It, it's ooh. It's what it sounds like. Ooh. <laughs> that loud. Let me. <laughs> what if you gave me like give me a cotton swab with like some um, uh, super glue on the end of it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I actually th I do think it came out. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I often look forward to receiving letters because everyone who writes to me thinks I am a deer. I like to think of myself as a majestic buck with huge antlers that look like a hat rack until I get run over by a semi. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing that you would write. Not really that funny. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Does it really make sense? Right. Doesn't it really have a punchline? Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel like I gotta orb in my ear again. Mm -mm. After that. Was it ever really in your ear? So you're saying that when I, I wasn't was, faking. When I was sucking on your ear for all that time. It wasn't even in there. It wasn't in there. Um, but I swear to you that I thought it was in there. But then Thanks, I became Kiki. convinced after all this blowing and wooing, that it wasn't in there, <laughs> that it must have fallen out. Just so you know, that wasn't my voice making that noise. It was, you know, it was physics of straws. Oh. I really liked the, the Man, we've been through dad, so much. The dad noise. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great season. Great season 16. We've been through a lot. Thank you, Kiki. Check, check out her channel, You're So Loud. Uh, for more awesome compilations like that one. Thank you, Kiki. Um, and because I know you're already putting this time code down in the comment section, it's time. It's time to let the people know 
why this is the last LTAT. Is there a movie oh. playing in the other room or something? Somebody's watching an action movie. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, so it's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's the last LTAT because we are bringing you something else on Saturdays in 2020. What? Uh, it's something that I think that you guys are going to be really excited for because Rhett and Link are going to be vlogging on the Rhett and Link channel. What? Every Saturday. What? Starting in January. And, that can't um, be true. And we, you know, we couldn't have two Saturday things we had Can't to do have, it all. yeah we we had to we we had to do this but it's for your own good it's gonna be great in fact there is a teaser trailer type of thing that's up at youtube.com slash rhett and link right now that you can go watch so you can get a sense of of the magical times you're gonna have on saturdays um don't go yet though because we're still here hanging that's true. out i mean go well, after you can pause go and go or after. you know whatever it's fine we already have your view um so if you're not subscribed to the Rhett and Link channel, or maybe you were subscribed years ago, and then you unsubscribed because you were like, there ain't no content coming Which, out on here. Which, let me say, I never understood that strategy. I'm not saying Why I unsubscribe from a channel that doesn't isn't releasing any new comment content? Yeah. Because well, it was a mistake. Not subscribing to it yeah, I don't and subscribing to a channel that it. doesn't release anything seemed to be same net effect. No, well, no new videos. If you did do that, one, we're judging you, and two, go over there and subscribe because you're gonna want to be there every Saturday starting mid-January in 2020. Um, I believe January 18th. It's the, it's the Saturday after our first week that GMM is back and GMM is back on, right. on uh, January 13th. But that was a, um, it was, it was a big decision for us because we, we would always look back at that channel and be like, man, we don't do anything over there. If that's the channel that we got started on, like every, Everything that the main channel we called it, was, it the main it was the main channel. channel. That's called what we the called main it. Channel. When Good Mythical Good Morning started on the second channel, which had been around a while before that, but like it's like, what are we ever going to do anything over there again? And then once we started talking about the idea of just doing something, just the two of us filming each other, not something studio based, but just more isolated adventure based. That's Ooh, what I just came up with. Isolated adventures featuring your buddies, Rhett and Link. Put that on the banner. But you guys are shooting it yourselves. There's nobody else We're filming with ourselves. you shooting that it. That will which be is evident. Aw which is awesome. It's, it's absolutely different. nothing like what's been on the channel. Mm -hmm. not, it's, and so it's not, you know, well, and I, I think, hope that I you enjoy it for what it is and not compare it to what it, the <laughs> channel was. Now well, you're backpedaling. No, no, I, yeah. no but I think, it, I think it's worth mentioning because a lot of people are like, we, we get asked often, you know, when are you guys gonna do something on the main channel? And what they what they're really asking is, when are you gonna do music videos? Yeah. When right. are you gonna do sketches? And the we talked about this quite a bit on Ear Biscuits and other places. But I mean, the reality is, is that there is really only so much time in the day, and there's a lot of things that we're trying to do that are music based or scripted. Uh, we're just trying to make those happen in different ways right now. Uh, but we wanted to do something, uh, and I think that. You know, I think that going to Bowie's Creek and shooting, even though that was different because that was more of like a docu-follow thing where we're going around, but just that kind of getting out into the world and doing things and sort of just, you know, just being friends on camera. Um, only on camera, though. Only on camera. Yeah. Is something that we thought that would be the perfect thing to bring back. And, you know, when we decided, hey, let's do that on Saturdays, the first decision was, hey, let's do that on Saturdays. And then the second thing was, well, why don't we put that, why don't we put that on the Rent and Link channel? Because... It's really just Red and Link. Yeah. It That's is us. It is us. Um, you and me. So again, subscribe, youtube.com slash Red and Link. Get excited! Uh, I'm excited. Click the I'm bell! I'm really excited. See, you don't have to be sad. But that, you know, and that would be enough, I think. That would be enough. But wait, there's more. We're giving you more in 2020, mostly because you guys made it happen. Um, if you have been watching Mythical Chef Josh's uh, series on Sundays. He's been asking you to go subscribe to the Mythical channel, and you did. And because you did, we're able to make even more kitchen programming, food programming for you on a brand new channel that we're calling Mythical Kitchen. It's uh, at youtube.com slash mythical kitchen. If you haven't subscribed, if you didn't subscribe to mythical, cause you were like, I don't know what that is. Now you know what it is. Mythical Kitchen. Please go subscribe. Um, we're going to have 
a whole crap ton of videos coming out. Not mm. crap ton because that's not appealing in terms of like Doesn't eating make you food. Eat. Right, um, right. But we have the series that you know and love that premiered this this year coming out next year in a whole new different form. And also we have new stuff that you haven't even seen coming yes. out over there. Uh, again, it all starts in January. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot to celebrate. This is a big year, guys. There's 2020. To it's going to be a about. big year. So on the Mythical Kitchen channel, it'll be multiple videos a week. Yep. Starting out with two a week. So, Starting out with two a week. Um, going up. Again, going hit right that up. bell. Um, so please go sub subscribe to those two channels. And also, I know that we talk about this a lot, but if you are a member of this Mythical Beast community and you find yourself wanting even more content, even more access to Rhett and Link and the crew, we're going to be bringing even more videos over onto the Mythical Society in 2020. Uh, so I become a member of the Mythical Society at mythicalsociety.com. Um, there's going to be so many new things over there in the new year. So you have the Rhett and Link channel, you have the Mythical Kitchen channel, and you have Mythical Society. Amongst amongst the, the GMM and, and more that you know and love, uh, Monday through Friday, season 17 comes out on January 13th. Don't be sad. Well, be, let's be happy. But, but let's also be a little sad. Let's be a little nostalgic. It's okay. Let's yeah. say, you know okay, what? Okay, be a little this sad. Is, this was this was a lot of fun. It was a good run, Stevie. Yeah. Well, I, I bet you there's lots of moments, at least five that we could rank. Thank you, Link. That was a great segue. And to this is the time that you can now be sad because this is when we will be looking at the top five moments of LTAT. Um, this upcoming week on the channel, we are looking at Top five GMM moments every day, Monday through Friday, that you guys voted on in various different categories. So we're going to kick it off today with the top five LTAP moments as voted on by you. Are you guys ready to see? Oh, I'm so ready. Uh, a clip? Yes. Let's, can make it. Let's, let's start, shall we? Coming in at number five, great things happen when strangers were asked to judge Rhett and Link by photo alone. So <laughs> I posted on Twitter, I posted a photo <laughs> of Link, and I said, find someone who doesn't know Link, ask them what they think the name of the person in the photo below is, ask them what the person in the photo most likely does for a living, ask them if they'd be friends with the person, and why or why not, and send me the answers. Yeah. My aunt says he looks like a stay-at-home lifestyle blogger who posts <laughs> recipes and Bible verses <laughs> named, <laughs> named George. She said he looks like a quirky gay best friend she could have, have and she'd totally be down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm every I'm 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 the gay best friend that you always want. <laughs> oh. oh, wow! Oh, like so I got stuck on a loop. <laughs> so nicely. My cousin thinks he'll be named Mark with a C. Yeah. He probably does something with computers and math. He seems very nice with a sweet smile, but a little fussy. He's getting older, so he is ready to settle down and have a baby with his partner, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it Rick with a C as well? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Wow. Wasn't that Rick funny? and Mark. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> you experienced it that other yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was funny when it happened. It was, yeah, you found watching it to be it back, really like, funny. Was, you were it was really as funny as I thought it, it was nice at the time. And, nice to know what people think about you. <laughs> okay, let's see the next clip. At number four, your wives and I spent some quality time together. Okay, so I kind of explained what we're going to do. <laughs> um, you're not supposed to be on camera, so I'm kind of breaking the rules. Uh, so I, I think that we're just gonna blur your face. Yeah, I think this is gonna be perfect. Oh, good. Oh, Christy, what are you doing here? I'm just here reading the Book of Wood. She likes to come over and read <laughs> Rhett's books about wood. Well, we're gonna paint a portrait if you wanna be in it. We can do like a double portrait. Yeah, okay, cool. Are you guys comfortable with what you're wearing? Did you wanna take something off? I'm good. I'm all right. All right, let's get started. I'm so ridiculous. I heard that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go a little abstract with this, I think. I'm gonna include some words. First thing that comes to mind. I am a big fan of <laughs> Um, Christy? Okay, you guys <laughs> Not a, everybody loves this, but I love Give me some more. 
<laughs> you guys are making me hot. You're making me uncomfortable with what you're saying to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I still yeah. don't know what they said. <laughs> and, and I still we, have that painting in uh, in our office, but it's it's uh, propped against something and facing the other huh, way. Okay. I mean that's that counts. Thank you. Um, the when Chessie and I walk in and we see Christy, for some reason it was very funny that she I couldn't hold it together when she was saying she was reading the book of wood. So I think that there's several outtakes of us just walking in. I'm surprised it even looks like I didn't. I don't think I got a take where I wasn't laughing. <laughs> My face is so red. <laughs> They're funny. Um, That's it's a good a, number four. What a weird, uh, what a weird experience to toss to myself doing this VO. Let's do it again. Yeah, do it. Our number three clip features Rhett and Rhett. This Let's week is all about a chinless tall man we know because it is his birthday weekend. Yeah, happy still and... celebrating your birthday. <laughs> it ain't over. Um, I have some surprises planned, and I'm very pleased with myself. One <laughs> of my favorite segments that we've done on the show uh, is reviewing doppelgangers of you guys. Of course, no one comes close when it comes to Rhett to the super cuts guy, unless it's the Blue Cross Blue Shield guy. Mm -hmm. Who is a different guy, right? And here's the thing. We did some stalking. That's the same guy. I mean, you can see kind of from the photos what like the similarities, but um, it'd be way better if he was here in person. Oh gosh. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you can start it without me? Hey, Will. Hi. Willie, Hi. good buddy. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good hey. to see you. Hey, man. Meet my friend Rhett. What's nice up? shirt, man. Dude, you too. I like the jeans <laughs> and your face, and your hair, and your beard. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is. Uh, you do look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, got a happy birthday. So, come See, here. See, I told you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. Gosh. Is Will oh, my true best this. friend? Well, you yeah. Know, try. Oh. Yeah. Uh, See, you really didn't want to wear that shirt, but you had to. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice shirt. You did, don't like the shirt. Did you pick the shirt out? I didn't. Okay. But well, you like it. I do. I guess <laughs> I like it. I feel too. like it brings out the beard. Oh my god, I'm nice. so excited yeah, still. You, you do happening. have a nice curl. You're a good looking guy. You are as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still you are as well. We look that. alike. Come on, how could you not be excited watching that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we've been that. we've been getting together that quite was, quite a bit. That was cool. Uh -oh. yeah. You know, if you uh, like I'm, I get the Rolling Stone, dude's in the in the freaking ads in the Rolling Stone magazine. Oh really? Yeah, every time. You sure that wasn't me? <laughs> uh, if it's you, I want to cut. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, okay, let's see another one. At number two, Rhett's dad watches GMM against his will. Do you watch Good Mythical Morning? Uh, no. <laughs> well, so sometimes I do. My wife makes me watch sometimes. Okay. So I'm guessing that a lot of the clips I'm going to show you today you have not seen. Probably. Uh, but I hand-selected the clips because I wanted to make sure that you saw them so that you knew kind of everything that was going on here and, and um, what Rhett was up to on a daily basis. Are you aware that there are a lot of jeans for women that are advertised as providing a better derriere for the wearer? I'm aware that there are some. Do you want to see me bend over? <laughs> I'd like to see you bend over. Okay. Uh, I never thought I'd think that or say it, but let's have the Ben test. All which, me. Which, I, I made a duty. <laughs> I made a duty and then I, I put too much TP in there. I didn't flush. Well, what do you... <laughs> there it goes. It released. No, it didn't actually. <laughs> Do you think it released? Well, I don't know. I <laughs> couldn't tell. <laughs> but, but I like, but I like what I'm getting here. Too. <laughs> Ooh, what is that liquid coming out? What in the world? Look at, she's drooling. She's, she likes it. Well. <laughs> Am I supposed to respond to that? <laughs> well, what can I say other than? I spent thousands of dollars to get him a degree in engineering, and this is what he does. <laughs> a little embarrassing. 
mm-hmm. <laughs> as a parent. Is there anything that you would like <laughs> Rhett to know specifically? And if so, could you please look in that camera and address him directly? Rhett, I want you to know that as your father, I still love you in spite of what you do. <laughs> uh, wow. That was great. What a special moment. Yeah, that yeah. was a special moment. Yeah. Now that I, I know that he loves me now. Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, obviously I know what the number one moment is because I'm doing the voiceover, but you guys don't know, and you don't know, mm. so here's the buildup. Was it when we ate all the pizza in 10 different ways? Yes. Yes, oh, so sudden. No. And finally, our number one LTAP moment comes from our celebration of GMM's 1600th episode. Our 1600th episode, that's a whole lot of hundreds. <laughs> We've been celebrating since episode 100, which was in May 2012. So we started this like this thing at, at I think, the 500th episode when we did 500 bouncy balls and a bunch of other 500 things. Then we did 600 cheese balls and we did 700 water balloons that we threw at you. That was really great. Um, but 1600, that's a that's a pretty big number. So yeah. it's, it's kind of hard to keep up with that kind of pattern of, uh, of things. Or maybe it's not, because it's time for Can We Find the M&M and 1600 Skittles? Oh man, you guys are so excited, aren't you? You think this is a great idea? That's 1600 Skittles? Yeah. That's oh, pretty underwhelming, isn't it? it? It's like a party size bag. And then how many M&Ms are in here? One. One single M&M. Did so do we need a strategy for this? Or we're just gonna... I found it. <laughs> I freaking found it. Yeah, you didn't. That's a Skittle, man. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, spread it. Now, one fell on the floor, but that wasn't it. It's definitely gonna be the same color. Wow. Okay, should we go, should we... Should we start putting Skittles to one side? I think it's gonna be red. Here it is right here. <laughs> Isn't that an M&M? Yeah, it says an S on it. <gasps> Bite it. Hold on. That's no, it. No, that's an M&M. <laughs> that's an M&M. That's it. It's an orange M&M, right? Guys, this was supposed to be more fun. <laughs> well, hold on now. I did something. <laughs> we can spend All the rest right. of time celebrating. <laughs> it's oh, orange. Man. I found an that's M&M. That's it. It's M&M. I'm good at finding M&M. You thought this was going to take a long time? Yeah, David has hints written down for us if we couldn't find it. All right, what are it? the hints? It's orange. <laughs> <laughs> I did something. What are the hints? That made it of to number course, one. Of course, of course. You voted it number one so it could haunt me. <laughs> Thank you. Even Thank more. you for voting that number one. So much We did it, you know, it M&Ms. took all three of us. It's all three right, of us. Right, that's really. right. Um, it's a really gr- a team effort there. That's all. That's all I have. That's you know it. what? In that's, my, my, that's all I have. I mean, like, that's all I have. But that's that was a lot. It's been a lot. Yeah, We've it's been, been through a lot. lot. It's been a lot. You know, they, they say, you, you shouldn't say goodbye, you should say, see you later. Yeah. So. Well, you're not leaving. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving. I yeah. don't think I'm leaving. <laughs> Today. Today I'm not leaving. Tomorrow, tomorrow's another day. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You'll hear my voiceovers on the top fives next week, guys. It's fine. <laughs> He's trying to make himself cry. Is it going to be okay? Is it going to be okay, It's going to be Steven? okay, guys. I don't know if it's going to be guys, okay. we'll make it through this together. And it's not goodbye. As I said, it's just see you later. And another way to say that is with our final line that we always say. Are you ready? Yeah. And you, hold on one second, oh. Stevie. Before we do our final line, here's the thing. You've made us feel so special. What? That's right. <laughs> you introduced me to my doppelganger. I did. I did do that. For I'm my so birthday. Glad that you're acknowledging you made my dreams now. come true by riding on a horse. You did. You were you in the moment very appreciative of yeah, that. It's that fine. that it's was okay. my number one. And what we have done is we have combined those two things that meant so much to us into a parting gift for you. Your doppelgangers here riding a horse? Please bring it out. Stevie, our gift to you. <laughs> it's a doppelganger horse. Mask. Wow, guys. 
Thank you so much. Put it on. It's also a mask, by the way. Thank you, David. Yeah, we said mask, David. <laughs> put it on. Can you put it on for us? Oh boy, we can just I? Know. Guys, you, this is just so thoughtful We of couldn't you. think look, of a more so Look how good the hair is. Special way off. to let you know how much you here. and this show mean to us. Guys, thank you so much. You this is help? so thoughtful. I really need help. I think it's gonna stay on there. This is a nice wig. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 it's only the best. <laughs> so hold your breath. Yeah, so do that. Put your face. Do that. Right. Do that, go in there. In there. And now get the hair down. Gotta style the hair. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Make sure it's down. Look at that. I mean, you you would never know that wasn't Stevie. It well, that is that's horse Stevie. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. You're welcome, Stevie. Why Listen. Why can't you see out of these masks? I think they. Because uh, you don't need. Because you. Because you, you don't see. need to. Well, let, listen. Because we see, sincerely do want to thank you and thank everybody else who's made LTAP possible, and for you for for watching and hanging out with us here. It's been um, a really special it's, time. It's, it's been a different thing than we've ever done before, and um, we will cherish every moment. I thank you, Stevie, it. for making this happen. Thank you guys so much. This Speak is so up, because you're speaking to the horse. It's so thoughtful of you, and I really appreciate it. And I, I, this is what I had in my mind for this final moment. Yep, us too. So we can't say the next LTAT because it won't be one. No. Well, you know I what? Just you said, can let, just see leave you later. it. Just put it out there. Yeah. In the ether, you never know what'll happen. Like, well, but also, if there is never an LTAT, then they're just gonna keep on BYMB, which is also fine. Right. It's That's, perpetual. Yeah. So, with that being said, until, until next LTAT, keep on BYMB. F O S H O.